Hi all, in this video we're going to go over how to install TrueVault, how to sign up, um, create your account, how to then link your TrueVault account to your Superhive, formerly Blender Market account to migrate all of your existing purchases, and then how to redeem recharge codes for the credit packs. So let's jump right in. First thing you'll want to do is make sure that you install the add-on. Now this is available on the product page. It's just this little drag and drop function here. So if we drag this into anywhere on Blender 4.5 or above, you'll get a little pop-up that appears install an extension. So this extension is actually an online repository. We're gonna add that. And then we're going to make sure that we enable check for updates on startup. The other toggles we don't need to worry about. You can set up a custom directory if you want, but it's not required. And authentication, do not enable this because this is a public repository. Um, there is no access token required. So we're gonna click create. We'll get a little notification down here to say that it's been created. Now we need to go to our preferences and under extensions, we can just search for vault and we'll find this one here. This has been installed via this repository. So we're just going to click install and give this a moment because it will have to download the add-on from the repository and obviously depending on your connection speeds, this might take a minute or so. Uh, so we're going to let that install and then I'll get back to you once that's done. Now that that's installed, as you can see, uh, everything's sort of lit up white. We need to go to the add-ons section. So we can go to add-ons and we just see vault is there and you'll be able to see that the add-on is now installed correctly. Um, obviously you are not signed in yet. Um, you can view the documentation here. You can join our Discord here. You can view the rest of our add-ons and you can also purchase credits. But first what we're gonna do is create a new account. So let's go through that process. In the end panel, you will see the store is available and it shows you all of the items that we've got. These will only take a couple of seconds to load in on each page. Once they're loaded in, the data is cached so you can flick between the pages very quickly. Um, but as you're not signed in, you actually can't purchase anything right now. So let's create an account. Click the sign up button and we're gonna put our email in there. This is the email that we want to use to associate with our TrueVFX account. This doesn't have to be the same one as your Superhive or Blender Market one. Um, but we need to put an email in here. Uh, so let's go and have a, let's put our email in. And let's create a new password. And once we've done this, we can just click sign up. We'll then get a notice to tell us that an email has been sent and we need to verify that email. Do not click I have verified my email until you've verified that email that's been sent to you. You will receive an email from us, no reply at truevfx.xyz. It will be from truevfx auth. This email will be the one that you need to click. So we click confirm your email in here and this will take us to a page where it says that we've confirmed our sign up and in a moment it's going to redirect us to the migration process so let's go back to blender and just click i have verified my email once this is done your account will be logged in you can view your account settings here uh, we can create a name so let's just call ourselves vault and uh, true vfx vault and we can save that you don't have to do anything there you can just save it with an empty this will get sent to our database, so your account is registered to uh, an ID or something like that. Um, from here, you can click link super uh, link account, link your Superhive account, um, but we don't need to do that because the link that we've just clicked has redirected us to that process. So let's run through this process and get our existing purchases migrated over. Just a word of caution: right now, the existing purchases. Um, they will only be the content packs from the add-ons, not the add-ons themselves. This will come in a later version of TrueVault. Right now we wanted to make sure that all of the actual assets are available um, and you could link those over. So let's log into our account.
account that we just created. So this will now sign us in. Um, as you can see here, we're signed in to the account that we've just created. Um, so we just need to click link Superhive account. Um, and in this case, it is a separate, it's a different email that I'm using um, because all of my purchases associated with my Superhive slash formerly Blender Market um, were under a different account. So this is totally fine for you to do. Um, so if we just put our email address in there, for the account that's registered with Superhive. And then we just click send link email. This will then send an email to that other email address. And then we need to go to that email address and click the link in that email there. And now you can see we've got that email again from TruvioFX Auth. Uh, we just need to click confirm Superhive email. And this will take us to a new tab where we'll just check the database to ensure everything's legit. And then within about 60 seconds, you should see all of the packs that you have linked. Uh, once this is done, it can take up to 24 hours for this to show in, uh, in TrueVault. But if we just come back here, you should only need to refresh this. You shouldn't need to log out and log back in, but you might need to log out and log back in. Um, and here you go. You can see now we no longer have a purchase function over any of these um, because we technically own all of these now uh, from either a true terrain purchase or a undergrowth purchase or something like that. Um, so we can just now click on any of these. We click import. We'll get a little eyedropper tool, which we just drag and place anywhere. And you'll get a little modal that runs uh, as it downloads. Once it's finished downloading, the asset will appear uh, and it will have materials and things like that on it. Um, so it's there. And again, we can do this with any other one. Let's just drag that in. You'll see that it'll start downloading. It'll pop the assets in and that's how that works. Um, you can also, like these will also place anywhere in 3D space. So if we grab uh, something like this and we place it like here, then you can see that the tree will actually place pointed out across this way. So it's based on whatever the position is that you set. Um, so we can just Alt G and Alt R that and move that around. And the same goes for materials and things like that. So when you bring these items in, whatever you select it on, if it's a material, it will apply that material to the first slot. Um, if it's a, an object, then it will just bring it in, in 3D space wherever you've clicked the cursor. And once you've actually sort of imported or downloaded these things, these are stored locally on your machine. So you can see here, if it has this icon, sort of like the down arrow that means it needs to be downloaded if it has a down and left arrow that just means it can be pulled in so you can just pull that in now at any point um, and again we can do this for any of the other ones that we have downloaded and you can also view the things that you've downloaded um, if we change the filter here to is it the filter it's one of them the owned assets uh, this will show you all of the items that you've owned um, so you won't see anything that you don't own um, and then you can just sort of flick through all of these and it might take a second for each page to load but once the page has loaded it's cached so you don't have to mess around bringing them pages back up every time you want to flick through pages and then we can see it's downloading and there's the asset. Amazing. So now, the next thing that we're gonna show you is just how to redeem a recharge code. Um, so let's go through that. So to redeem a recharge code, um, you would purchase one of the uh, asset packs that I showed you earlier. Um, and you will be then delivered a recharge code link. In this situation, you guys are looking at a thousand dollar version of undergrowth 
this is the only way that we can actually test this API backend uh, with Superhive. They don't have a developer environment for this, but um, so you'll see something slightly different here, but you will always see this one download recharge code. Um, if we click this link, this will take us to TrueVault where your code is generated. Uh, you can just copy this code here. Uh, you can watch the video on how to use this if you want. Uh, you can view the steps on how to view this. You can expand the video if you need to expand the video. Um, but you just copy this code and then we go back to Blender. Uh, in TrueVault, we just click redeem code. You just paste the code in here. And once you've pasted the code in, your balance will update. It might take a second, but your balance will then update. So far, that's kind of everything you all need to know about how to use. Um, again, you can view all of the assets, your owned assets. You can view your account settings here. Uh, so your email, you can change your email, you can change your name, you can change your password. If you change your email or password, then you will be run through a verification process. Again, you'll have an email sent to you. You'll have an email sent to both emails if you're doing an email change. Uh, one to your current email, one to your new email. Follow the steps in those. If you're changing your password, then you will have a password link reset to you, or a password reset link sent to you. Uh, and then just obviously follow, follow the steps in that too. Um, you can sign out and you can delete your account. Um, and then you can view the preferences, of course. Um, see how many preferences, uh, your, your, your documentation, you, you can get credits that'll take you to the store, you can join the Discord, you can view all other add-ons, you can do all of your account changes in here too. Um, and you can also set your products per page. So if you want, uh, I don't know why you would want this, uh, 65 products per page, then you can do 65 products per page. You will just need to reload the asset browser um, and then this will load up 65 items per page and you can just go through each page again once it's loaded you just tap to the next one and it'll be cached and you won't have to worry about that there you go um, I think that's everything really um, you can set a library path right now uh, it defaults to your C drive, it's under users, your username. A directory will be created called True Vault, and then inside of there is your library. Uh, you can set this to any location, and this is where all of your downloaded assets will go. So when you download something, instead of it going to this default location, it will then go to the um, location that you've set. If that needs to be an external hard drive or a SSD, that's not your main drive. Uh, or even a uh, local network access storage device, you can do that. Um, cloud paths are not supported, so please don't put this in like an open a OneDrive or a Dropbox or something like that. Um, that can cause issues. But other than that, that's everything. If you want to view the documentation, obviously view the documentation here, uh, everything's documented. You can go through the quick start, it'll explain everything, uh, how purchases work, how the add-on works. We have little images and gifts and all sorts we have little drop downs if you need to you know the, if there's a, a common issue we've usually put these in these kind of little green drop downs um how to browse the assets viewing products buying products managing your credits etc um so this is all documented here and obviously we've got this this video too um but other than that that's everything if you have any questions please join our discord and ask us in there um if there's any suggestions or anything that you'd like to make again join us in the discord raise your suggestions there um and we'll try and implement as many as possible but right now bear in mind that this is the release uh we don't have add-ons linked yet um that will be coming in the next update we're going to be making sure true terrain is integrated so any of the assets in true vault can be downloaded directly into true terrain you can scatter them and put materials on and things like that um and then we will also porting over true vdb um true space and then any other assets that we start to release will be implemented in here like hdris uh, more volumes node groups generators all that kind of thing will be coming to this very very soon brilliant 
uh, I will see you in the next one.